All right, we're on our way to a no cooling call top floor. Customer said the drain pan was full and uh, that, you know, he had found that we left the ball valve on the PVC turned off and so he turned it on and, you know, it's remarkable how many people actually think that's a drain pan and not just a secondary catch pan but regardless I had him cut it back off immediately and wait till we get there to clear the drain now the reason I was concerned about this one is this is one of those where the secondary pipe is tied into the primary and in that case when we're not somewhere that we can or that we want to run out a pipe from the drain pan we just valve it off um, and we'll go ahead and leave it tied to the primary so that once we clear it we can use that to drain it but or to drain most of it but nonetheless um, we're gonna see what's going on here he is a bit of a helicopter um, they redid this house it was pretty old it's probably a 60 70 year old house and uh, here it is right here and there's two out of three units we replaced so anyway uh, we're going to go see if we can get any footage, but definitely we're going to unclog his drain and get him back going. So I'll see if we can take you along. Down in the basement, and I saw where the drain comes out of an old duct, using it as a chase from top to bottom. And there's the pipe right over there, looks like. So, let's get our vacuum out. And see what we find. Yeah. All right, so we got her hooked up. Let's see what we get. Took it a minute to start getting anything. That is cold, ice cold water. I don't know if you can see that nastiness that it had on it for the first couple seconds once it started flowing, but it didn't want to flow. <laughs> So here's where this rain pipe comes down. Out of this old duct work. And this was all here when we got here. So what we did was flush the refrigerant lines and changed it to 410A. We put this one in new and it's on the bottom floor, so we ran a new refrigerant line for it right here, which was obviously not a problem. But the top floor, it came down to do this, and somehow 
comes down to chase in here. I haven't been able to find it because I haven't really climbed up in there and looked. Yeah, I can tell us a little more about how far it goes in there. So anyway, it comes out there and goes right on there. And that's outside where we were with the vacuum right out there. So there's so many joints here that uh, could definitely settle and uh, eventually clog up like the low elbows like to do. There's one in here somewhere that's low and then that one, but this one especially. So I'm going to go upstairs and cut a T into the line and leave a little small vent while I'm at it. And... Uh, Pour some coal cleaner down and brush it. Alright, so here's where it is. Unit. There's the running trap, which I don't really like. I don't really like running traps. That's what's over there. Here's where the two two together. And that's why this stays off float switch there and lets us know what's going on. So I'm going to try to cut the T in right here quickly because I'm sure there's water in it. And uh, I brought this and drill little holes in the cap for a vent. It's also handy. I, you know, I'll glue all that but I won't, but I won't glue this. I'll just glue all that. And, It'll be handy to uh, pour some pour some cleaner down in. So let's get that done right quick. All right. So one thing they did do is they did at least cap off the duct. You can see. That's the drain line. So they got the. line set and the drain line running down through a duct that apparently is not used anymore but it was probably a heat only duct way back in the old oil furnace days or whatever was up here you can see where a big whole house attic fan used to be right there and we put that return right there and took that fan out um, whoever had done the first change out or added the first system here they actually left that fan and uh, the return was pretty ugly over through a closet on the other side so we put it right there and framed that in and you know let the sheet rockers come behind us and finish it out so anyway let's let's see if we can keep from making too big a mess right here with this still running See it flow in there first, and we don't, we don't see that yet. The dripping out here is uh, slowed way down. I just saw a drip come out. I tell you, I really don't like those running P traps. Watch it for a little bit before I pour anything in it. Okay, I know everybody's got their own way of doing these things, but I've poured probably a cup or two in here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pour about half of it. And then just go out there and see if it'll start dripping. And then of course, flush it with the vacuum again. Probably had about a quart in there, so I poured most of it in. 
So I'm going to glue this, just that, and leave that where it'll pop off. And that'll be our, our vent, as well as our future access hole to pour in some cleaner. So let's go ahead and leave it like that and go outside and see what the vacuum in the end of the pipe shows us now. And uh, you can see right there is where that huge attic fan used to be kid asleep in that other room there so I'm trying to be quiet so let's go outside and see what we get all right I thought the video was running but it wasn't and a bunch of more crap came through That's for sure. And this one was relatively clean when I started. So now the dreaded waiting period where we have to wait to see it drip. But I'm not going anywhere till I see it draining, so we might as well sit down a minute. I'll go over here and wash out my vacuum reservoir here. 